All right, welcome back to the vlog. I'm just waiting on Grace. We're about to head to Tunica. Rumor has it it's going to rain, but I'm just like Snoop Dogg. I got my umbrella for drizzle. This is my country, my damn country. Give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country. And it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test. If you ain't never cheated or been cheated on, then take off your boots, you rhinestone fraud. <laughs> Made it to Tunica. It's pretty late. Probably just gonna go downstairs, grab a bite to eat real quick, see what kind of trouble we trouble we can get into at the poker tables. Gonna call it a, a quick night though. We got a tournament early in the morning, so we won't be staying out too late. We'll see you then. Morning. This is a uh, first full day in Tunica. We played last night a little bit of cash, and we got here about 1:30, whatever in the morning. It wasn't like a real game though. Uh, it was just a bunch of us friends that half of us were, I wasn't, but half of us were like drunk and, and we only played, I only played for like a half an hour. Grace played a couple hours. Mm -hmm. So 140 bucks. Now we're headed down to day one. You won 50 bucks. I won 50 bucks. Sorry. Now we're headed down to play the tournament. It's a $400 tournament today. Third, third flight of event two. Third flight of event two. So we're going to go jump in that. We have a bunch of buddies here. Um. Uh, so we'll check on too, so we'll keep you update, updated. I won't be able to record any hands at the table though, because tournaments are a little bit different than cash. So I'll just update you on every break, assuming it's, it's cute that I think I'm gonna make a break. It is cute. <laughs> but uh, we'll keep you updated every, uh, every break. So, see you later. I have to, I have to do these from the bathroom because there's just no lighting in these rooms. Uh, the tournament started 40 minutes ago, and I'm already in the room, <laughs> so it went well. I got hosed in a ruling. Very first hand off the deck, a gentleman raises to he puts in a black chip and a green chip, which in every tournament on God's green earth is a raise to 125. When it gets over to me. I have a, I have king 10 of diamonds and I elect to call the 125. So I put out 125. The floor, the dealer then tells me, no, 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 sir, he bet 5,100, which is a ridiculous amount. Nobody would ever bet this amount at this time. I asked the guy, did you mean to bet 5,100? And he says, no, I meant to bet 125. I said, okay, well, that's what I'm going to call. So they call over the floor. The floor oh, no, no, no. The floor says, no, he bet 5,100. John, it's your responsibility to know. And I said very politely, you know, you can be a reasonable person here, ma'am. Uh, he meant to bet 125. He's even saying he doesn't want to put in 5,100. I don't want to put in 5,100. We both agree that it's 125. Let's be reasonable about this. And she would not be reasonable. Letter of the law. Technically, she's not wrong it, it is on me to know how much it is but the chip that the 5000 chip here and the 25 chip here are so close in color it's ridiculous why you'd make the highest chip you start with and the lowest chip you start with the same ish color is beyond me so i lost this hand because of course the guy had a something and he just won um so i lost 33 percent of my stack on the first hand gave it a shot i'm out it's not the end of the world just lost $400 in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to take a shower now because I woke up too late to shower this morning and then I'm going to go down and play some cash. Thanks for listening to my bad beat story. All right, I'm headed down to play cash right now. Still pretty tilted from that call that that uh, supervisor made. And you might be thinking, but Adam, she didn't really make a mistake. 
you know, that's a letter of the law ruling, and it is. Let's rewind a couple years, and I'm playing at the Planet Hollywood Famous Poker Series. And on the river, I have the nuts. I have the best possible hand, and I go all in. Down the ways, an older man puts in 2,000 chips. I flip my hand over, and he said, what happened? I said, I have the nuts. And he said, well, I'm betting 2,000. And he folds his hand because he can't beat my hand. He didn't realize that I was all in. They call the floor over, and not only do I not get the entire pot, I don't even get the 2,000 that he willingly put in the pot. I mean, so it's not like I'm upset with this particular ruling. I'm upset because Caesars doesn't have any consistency with their rulings. So I kind of got dicked in a, in a ruling there and it kind of tilted me the rest of the tournament. I tried for it not to, but you know, poker is a, an emotional game to say the least. So I'm heading down now to the poker room to play a little bit of cash and hopefully win back at least the tournament buying and hopefully a lot more.
in its shade Raise your children tall and proud Chase away the lightning clouds Until you finally get old and gray We all fade away games cash game I'm currently in it's 2-5 no limit hold'em game it's probably the best game that we've had uh, for the blog so far a lot of action people putting money in the pot uh, I've had some things go against me some things go my way so can't really complain but uh, just take a quick bathroom break want to give you guys a little heads up what's going on you know pl that's the plan the rest of the night is just to keep on playing and then uh, wake up tomorrow and repeat.
articulate like you I swear I know how you value these words But I cannot make poetry out of feelings like you do What's going on, Craig? Why are you making the sad face? Are you on to, you're on to day two though, right? Can you not speak? Who's this guy? What are you doing? What's up, man? Oh, hey, you're Adam. Yeah, I am. I saw you on TV. How's, oh, appreciate it. How's it going? Yeah, great. How are you? Can I say hi to all the people. Hey, people. <laughs> hey, people. <laughs> Bring a message back to you. Rebounded nicely from that terrible, terrible experience in the tournament this morning that I told you about. Grace also played the tournament, had the same result as me. She just waited a long, long, much longer to do it. <laughs> uh, cash games are over. Cash games were good tonight. The, the games here are much better than the Evansville games that we've been playing lately. We played a little bit bigger. We played 2-5. Uh, I played for about 12 hours, and Grace put in a good... Maybe probably 8 hours? 8, yeah, maybe 8. So in for 1,200... Out for 1943. So I'm no mathematician, but I believe that is plus 743. And uh, Grace was in for 1800. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, she cashed out for 2503. So uh, today was a good day. Um, plan now is to go to bed, uh, maybe edit some videos. Probably just play Clash of Clans and then get up in the morning and no tournament, just cash games all day tomorrow. And then Monday, cash games and go home. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Bye. Had to run a quick errand before I go up to the room to go to sleep. Guys, if you like what you saw in this video, it really helps the channel out if you could hit the subscribe button. Hit that big thumbs up like icon and get notifications when I send out videos every Sunday. I really appreciate you guys and we'll see you next time. Yeah, they call me the jerk Cause I always had three lovers And I burn through Trojan rubbers like no other But when I'm not between the sheets I'm busy staying undercover Ain't as sweet as it seems being the juggler On Wednesday evenings in Donna Lee Does her laundry two doors down So when I'm out to eat with Edith I'm always worried Whitney's watching And equally that Donna Lee's gonna be around And what's worse is Wendy lives by the Wally world Where Donna Lee goes to the pharmacy And Edith's ex-old man's employed there So I choose to keep a low
profile and sneak around like it's going out of style. And 